How many times have I said wow today? Wow. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this bridge. Oh, wow. This is a map. I need to learn to look at a map. I made a bit of a mistake. So I had a week in between house sits, or just under a week, and I wanted to get back up to the north to have a bit more of an explore. So in the Northern District is a place called Monomorta near Villa Real. I thought I booked an Airbnb in Modern Water, but no, there is a village of the same name, a tiny little village that doesn't even come up on the map when you put it in, put the name in, in the central region in the Coimbra district. So I ended up there instead. However, as mistakes go, it was not a bad mistake. Let me just show you the map. So, this is the white bit is all the central district because this is a map just of central so porto is here villa real is here and this is where i thought i'd booked a place but no all the way down here past fisu past corimbra and it's around here but however so these red dots are my house sits this is the house sit I was leaving, and this is the house sit I was going to. So it's ironic that it was bang in the middle, so it wasn't all bad. I don't know if you can see on this map. These um, green circles are the slate villages, and as you can see, there are loads of them all in this area. So this is a lovely mountainous area, lovely valleys, lovely rivers, lovely waterfalls, and my super duper Airbnb host took me on an explore and a hike. So I get to take you along and show you as well. So this is how a hike starts in Portugal, coffee and pastries. What a morning! It's been raining all week. Wow! <laughs> On the bottom we have a huge river. Yeah. Or a hotel. Wow. So this mountain range? Look at here. It came from Quimbra. It was Bena de Esperanza. He put gas here. And uh, yeah, mm. we we I I was thinking of passing here in Baril, Baril. Mm. There are lots of uh, English guys here in this region here, and we pass here. We are here in Valandes de Vaux, and now we go to uh, bridge of three entrances. Wow. <laughs> And it's this is amazing place. It's on top. It's it, look at there. You see small, small, small one thing mm. on top of a mountain. It's a, a small, small church. And the bridge of three entrances because you can come that way, that way, and the way I'm standing. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so clear. Crystal clear. So 
go on bicycle tour of Portugal. This is known as one of the toughest hills. Apparently it's amazing fly fishing. How many times have I said wow today?
of the markers to tell you you're en route. Follow the rocks. Follow the rocks. Right, huh. this is a uh, jelly legs moment. Let me see. It's my legs, oh God. My legs go to jelly. That's the river going down the valley. Wow. Thank you. Oh. Last rock to mark the spot. So it's not a walk for the um, non-nimble. It's well worth it though. There's that view. Oh wow. Wow, look at this bridge. <gasps> look at this. So here they dam off the um dam it off, put a big um, barrier up there and then it makes a natural swimming pool. That must be amazing.
leave the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't think the filming did it justice. Obviously you've heard the amount of times I said wow, I also said amazing a lot, but I really don't think I could capture its amazingness on film. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. I'm currently on an off-grid property. I've got no internet and no, well, I've got no Wi-Fi, which I knew I didn't have, but I have absolutely no signal. So I'm going to just try and catch up on my videos, but keep them short so that I can somehow try to upload them when I've got a signal or just wait till I'm back with Wi-Fi. Just to say about some of the places we visited, because that area is quite close to the border of the Quimbra, Quimbra district and the Guada district. So some of those places would have been in either of those districts. I can't look things up to put the info in the video to show you because I have no internet. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. The next video, I did a little, um, it, not an interview, but I spoke to the, um, Airbnb host because he is absolutely passionate about his area and the history of his area and his Airbnb is quite amazing if you are looking to um, explore central Portugal maybe do a scouting visit for relocation it would be an ideal place to stay um, and if you like hiking I mean in the summer he also does kayaking and stuff um, it would also be a great place to stay. He shares a lot of information on walks and places, to, a lot of information anyway. So anyway, I'm waffling. I'll do that next. That'll be the next vlog, I think. Yeah, that'll be the next vlog. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that.